I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on rational functions. Here is one of the most difficult questions which I am going to discuss with you. We are going to find equation of a rational function from the given description. And the description is kind of unique since the graph is crossing over an oblique asymptote. So the question here is, Determine a rational function with the following characteristics. X intercept of minus 5, oblique or slant asymptote of minus x minus 1, cross over at x equals to 3 and hole at x equals to 1. You can always pause the video and answer this question. Let us first try to understand the question as such. So I'll actually make a rough sketch here and then we'll go along uh, each and every point to get our equation. So one of the things which is mentioned here is the x-intercept of minus 5. That means somewhere here the graph is to cross the x-axis. Then we have an oblique or the slant asymptote which is minus 1, uh, minus x, minus 1. So let me sketch a, a line which will be, if x is 0, it is minus 1. So it is diagonally, but going with this y-intercept. So I'm just sketching a line here, kind of like this. And this line for us is y equals to minus x minus 1. So the graph has to be asymptotic to this. Then we are also given that the graph crosses uh, this particular line at x equals to 3. So if x is 3, let us say this is x is 3, that means the graph crosses this point. right? So that is another very critical parameter which we have to manage. So these are the conditions which are given. Whole at x equals to 1. Well, not a difficult issue. By having a factor of uh, x minus 1 in numerator and denominator, we can always get this whole, right? Now, let's try to see how to solve this question. So, first step could be that the function itself, since we know oblique asymptote is minus x minus 1, so we'll just keep that separate. And now here is our rational function. So when you divide the whole thing, you get that as your quotient, right? So we are approaching, and that is what it shows that we are approaching. Now, since it is a rational function, and we have no vertical asymptotes in this case, right? So I'm taking a denominator of x squared plus 1. The idea here is, uh, basically, comes from that that is a assumption, right? So since we have no vertical asymptotes. So I introduce this value because x squared plus 1 will not have any uh, vertical asymptotes, right? Now the, the thing is that if I want this x-intercept, let's work for x-intercept now. So if I want x intercept at minus 5, that means f of minus 5 should be equal to 0. Now, how do I get that value? What I could do here is that uh, I could um, write here minus 5 and see what we are heading to. So if I substitute minus 5 here, let me use another pen and then we'll just figure this out. Uh, let us say if I substitute minus 5 here, so we get minus of minus 5 minus 1 and this value which we have gives us 4. We want 0. That means this whole value should be minus 4. Is that clear to you? This whole value should be minus 4. Right? Now, 
substituting minus 5 for x squared plus 1 gives us 26. So to get 4, what can I do here? Well, let me first cancel this 26. So 26 is when I substitute 5. So I get now 26 divided by 26 is 1. Okay. Now I have to multiply by a factor which results into uh, 4 when I substitute minus 5. And we have to also work with 3. So let me just try this value. Uh, x minus 3. If I write x minus 3 and if I write minus 5 here, then look here. x minus 3. When I substitute minus 5, minus 3, I get minus 8. So these cancel. Now here I have minus 8. But what do we want? We want minus 4. Since I want minus 4, I'm going to divide by 2. So I get now, uh, what do you say, minus 4. So that will ensure that I do have x-intercept right there. You get an idea, right? So cross over at x equals to 3, it will, the graph is going to cross over this provided I'm trying to hit it on this side beyond 3. Right? That's the whole idea. I'm trying to hit it beyond 3. So at least it should be 3, right? Because uh, this will be a 0 at 3, right? So, so it is a 0 at 3. So I'm trying to hit beyond 3. So I'm trying to cross over, right? So that's the whole idea. And since at 3, we have a value which is already negative, so it is going to be on the right side. So, so that is a good assumption. Now with this in mind, I have achieved the goal of uh, uh, getting the x-intercept at minus 5, as you can see very clearly, right? Now the idea is that we have to get this value somehow. What should be this value? Where the graph crosses the oblique asymptote, right? Now, for minus x minus 1, let's work on this. If I substitute, if I substitute in minus x minus 1 the value 3, that means we get minus 3 minus 1, which is minus 4, right? So that means my function should have a value of minus 4 at f equals to minus 3, right? So if it has a value of minus 4, it is going to cross at this point. So now, if this is my function, let us substitute the value of minus 3 and calculate. So, so if I substitute minus 3 here, sorry, plus 3, this is at 3, right? This is minus because of minus x minus 1, right? So this was a asymptote, which is minus x minus 1. So when I substitute minus 3, I get minus 4. So this point here is minus 3 minus 4. So the function value at 3 should be minus 4. That is what we are trying to achieve now. So let's substitute here the value 3. So if I substitute 3, I get minus 3 minus 1, which is minus 4. So basically at 3, that should be 0. Do you get my point, right? So I got this. And here, as you have seen, that was the trick. If I substitute 3 here, we have got 26 times 3 minus 3, which is 0. And here we have 2 times x squared plus 1. Now, since that is 0, I get the same value as the function. Correct? Because this half is 0 for 3. And therefore, we have a common point. Do you get the idea? We have a common point at this particular place. So that ensures that we have a crossover at x equals to 3. Does it make sense to you? So this particular equation helps us to achieve crossover x equals to 3. So at this point, if I make all this 0, which I can make only if x minus 3 is 0, right? So 
So look here. So to meet this condition, crossover at 3, I have a factor x minus 3 here. So that will make it 0. And what I get is the value of the oblique asymptote. So they have the same point, which is right there. You get the idea. So therefore, this is a very important factor to be taken in the numerator as that governs the crossover point. Perfect. So we have done both the things. So to get the x-intercept, we have the combination to be 0. And to get this crossover, we have got to have this part of our rational function to be 0. So that we have the same value for the asymptote, oblique asymptote, and the rest of the function perfect and now it is easy to get hold of the next point which is uh, providing a hole so to provide a hole at x equals to 1 we could just multiply and divide by x minus 1 do you get the idea right so so we get how our equation which satisfies the given conditions so finally our equation is f of x is equal to minus x minus 1 plus, we can simplify this, but you have understood this strategy, right? 13 times x minus 3 times x minus 1 over x squared plus 1 times x minus 1. And that will meet all these conditions. Correct? So, so if you sketch this graph, it will be some, it will be approaching here, kind of, right? It will grow through this. Somewhere down below, it is going to, you know, we can always plug in zero here for x and find a y-intercept, right? Then it will, it is going to shoot from here. Since it does not have any other intercept, it is going to turn back and go along this path. So we have oblique asymptote and we have a crossover. Do you see that crossover? So that is how you can actually understand how to form an equation for given such conditions. I hope it makes sense for you. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.